here's the interesting thing. What we're, what we're starting to see with these social networks is things that we've seen in nature for millions of years, things which have evolved on their own. So if you think about an ant colony or, or a fish uh, school or, or a bird flock, it's not because someone's standing there and saying all the birds need to go in one direction. It's not because each of the birds knows which way that they're going to go or the fish school knows to, how to avoid the, the predator that's coming in their way. All of them through individual social um, you know, connectivity with their, with their nearest neighbor are acting and emergent properties come out of this group as a whole. There's this fundamental shift that we've been in this information knowledge economy and we're seeing this emergence of the creative economy, right? So it's, you talk about, you tell your kids to go into being a coder. It's really about the ability to create the ideas because there's a lot of people with technical skills around the world who can provide the technical support. And they're pricing each other down. And they are. And yeah. you, you know, yeah. knowledge is a commodity. There's great universities all over the world. The, the challenge here is, is the, what, what is sometimes referred to as the innovation gap, which is the lack of really good ideas. Mm -hmm.